Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Random Talk of the Night, the podcast that no one asked for, but we just keep on delivering at a very slow pace. Very slow. It's been about a year since our last uh, podcast, and uh, we just decided to say, fuck it, let's do it again. So, episode four, here we are. Uh, I'm here with AJ. Hello. And Britton, you here? Yes, I am. All right, Britton's here, Dylan's here, I'm Dylan, and... Uh, in the spirit of the past couple episodes, we got ourselves a couple skis, so I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, kickstart this one by cracking open a cold one. <laughs> All right. I, I already opened mine in the, the last introduction we did where you flubbed it. <sighs> Ski, could you please give us a, a sponsorship? <laughs> Pretty please, would you just do it already? I so mean, we decided to do this uh, podcast on Halloween. Since yeah. It's coming up really soon. Yeah, it's it's not Halloween, but we'll be talking about Halloween. Yeah. And we're thinking about doing horror movies. So. Yeah. Or I mean, just anything Halloween. Yeah. Everything related. Halloween. Everything Halloween. Favorite costumes. And, of course, um, ski. Ski. Ski Halloween. Always Halloween ski. ski. Favorite, favorite Halloween movies. Mine's three. Favorite Halloween drink. Halloween three. What's your, what's your guys' favorite drink to drink oh, on I, Halloween? I will tell you. I can tell you that exactly. Mountain Dew Pitch Black. Of course. Still not Pitch Black. Still hasn't changed? <laughs> Still hasn't changed. Pitch Black. And they brought it back. Pitch Black 2? They brought it back. No, Pitch I Black wish. was gone? Pitch Black was gone. Damn. I, I never really drank it to know that it ever left. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, it's back. Britton, what's your favorite drink for Halloween? My favorite drink for Halloween? Yeah, what's your favorite... When you think Halloween... Something like a drink. What do you like to yeah. drink? Coffee. Like just a, a cup of black coffee. Maybe like do, you know how That's people like do favorite. that art in coffee with the... Oh, they put like get, a cream. Maybe do like a ghost art, you know? So. Yeah. No, oh, no. This a is ghost just, just a black cup of coffee. It's oh, like yeah. my favorite fall drink. All right. All right. With an orange mug or something. Black yeah, orange. there you go. Yeah, it's just like in a, a coffee cup. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what my favorite drink is to drink around on Halloween time. What's that? Well, it's my favorite drink to drink around any time. Uh, Ski. Coca-Cola? Oh. No, actually, <laughs> no, I'm I'm just kidding. I actually, I haven't really been drinking soda. Not really. This is like the first soda I've had uh, in a long time. Yeah, yeah. same here. Don't Except drink that like much mixed ski. drinks. Cut back on the ski. Um... No, I think I like apple cider. I always drink yeah, a lot. Actually, that's a really good one. Yeah, for apple like ciders. fall time. Yeah. You know. Well, what about candy? Candy corn. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It. Damn it. No, you I'm take not. some candy corn and some like salted peanuts, mix them up in a bowl. Ooh, that sounds you good. You eat it, and it tastes yeah. just like a payday. Like specific, like any type of specific candy? Yeah. Uh, that's, I don't know. That's hard because like I just like, like it's. I mean, I haven't trick-or-treated, obviously, and like. Almost a decade. I'm yeah. going. I'm Over not. a decade. And, uh, <laughs> like, you know, I just, like, my favorite candies to get were, like, things like Snickers and, and Twix bars and stuff like that. You yeah. know, so it's just, like, the miniature ones. Yeah. Like, I, I never buy those the, until uh, it's about fall. What you were know? those called? Family size? Yeah, they're, like, yeah. the family sized, like, little snack packs. Yeah. And I love always getting... get the little box of Milk Duds. Oh, what was those? Balls of like um, popcorn, popcorn. Oh, the popcorn, oh, like balls. The popcorn balls. I love getting like, those. Yeah, were and fire. Had, like, caramel on them. Yeah, yeah those oh, were yeah. great. I those love the getting shit. those. When when people pass those out, that's the house you know to you know. Yeah, to go that's to. where you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and there will always be at least one or two families that what? had like homemade popcorn balls. Yeah. What they I were gigantic and yeah. they like they wrapped them in like oh, cellophane yeah, so, wrap. Yeah. What I really liked about those was like. When you were trick or treating and you bumped into some friends, they always told you where to find the yeah. popcorn balls. Like, and they yo, told dude, you a place not to go. Like when they're passing out water bottles. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? yo, bro, <laughs> check out East Street. They got popcorn balls, and it was like, that's where we're going. Mm-hmm. Man, I miss trick or treating. I do too. It has changed, though. It's sadly changed. Yeah, I, has it? Oh, it's you know how we used to go just house to house, no matter whose house. Oh yeah, yeah. and you just and take whatever you can it's get. Like you go to just families or like. Friends, oh yeah. You know. Well, they warned us when we were kids to do that. They would always say, "Just go to mean? friends and family." Oh, it's, it's bad. Like people don't go to strangers' houses anymore. I can imagine. Oh, like, that's a shame. Yeah, it's it's. I can imagine in like today's age. That being a little bit more of an issue because, you know. Why is it more of an issue now? I don't know. I would think it's safer now. Well, you know, with like 
clowns tormenting our neighborhoods and ISIS. I think it's just like media. Media is, is really ISIS scarce. attacking trick or yeah, treaters now? Into, is, I don't is that know. something that's going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. Times have changed since our last podcast. I've uh, gotten an apartment and lost an apartment. All in the time of our last podcast. Dylan's getting really heavy now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just we're trying we're to talking let... about Halloween, and now we're talking about... I just want all my viewers to know what's going on in our talking lives. Talking about ISIS attacking trick-or-treaters. No, I was just saying I can understand... Housing market collapse. I was just saying I think I can understand why the whole trick-or-treating and nowadays thing, why they're cracking back on it and why it's not such... Why it wouldn't be such a big... You know, why it's... Ah, fuck. I get it. I get yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, when we were kids, I remember they used to say the same thing, though. They'd say, don't take unwrapped candy, don't go to a stranger's house. But, you know, as kids, it was like, Psh, I'm going I'm going everywhere. Like, I'm, I'm hitting all the houses, you know? Yeah. Anybody throwing out candy, I'm taking it, you know? Mm-hmm. Even if it's unwrapped. <laughs> so do you guys dress up a lot? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, when I was like a kid. Well, favorite costume? I was Buzz Lightyear. Were you really? Yeah, I got a that Buzz Lightyear a costume. Cool. Yeah, that yeah. was my hands down my favorite Halloween yeah. costume. Did you have even the back? Like, um, it, it wasn't as impressive. As yeah, <laughs> it, it was like it was all. It, it was, was like a what? It was like a onesie that just had like everything drawn oh, onto yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So it wasn't and like a Darth Vader mm-hmm. one where it was just like you put it on. Yeah, and it had the buttons, but they weren't like. It was. Like, yeah, I remember this. Jo- I think Jordan went as Darth Vader one year, but we didn't have a mask for it, so it was just like the suit and the cape. Yeah. But like it was just like a onesie that just had everything like yeah. pressed onto it. So it I was wasn't. Darth Maul one year. I think I remember that. Yeah. I think I remember seeing That's you walk around Darth Maul. Yeah. And, uh, like, of course, the typical scream. Yeah. Remember the silly yeah. scream mask? With that the tongue hanging out? Oh, yeah, those were oh, popular. Oh, man. We, the with, like, the tongue yeah, out. The tongue we still have one from, like, somewhere. Sc- oh, from, like, a scary movie, right? Remember when that came out where they, like, you push that little, like, it's like a And it would, like, pump blood, blood through it? Would come yeah. Right yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, had that a friend who had one of those, and I was so jealous. Yeah. I was just like, that's the raddest thing. My favorite costume was... Uh, the uh, y- you guys remember the Goosebumps books? Uh-huh. I yeah. went as the puppet one year from the Goosebumps. Slappy, yeah, Slappy. Slappy. Yeah. That I is to, cool. I had to look up his name here because I couldn't remember it. But yeah, <laughs> Slappy the dummy. Um, that is I, really I went neat. as him one year, and it came with like the mask, and I had like a tux- uh, like a little tuxedo and everything. It was cool, and that was also like my best like year because I literally got like a five gallon trash bag full of candy. Wow. And uh, I, uh, mom, for whatever uh, horrible reason, decided to let me have, like, cable in my room. So, <laughs> in, like, after we went trick-or-treating, I stayed up late, like, watching uh, horror films on HBO and eating candy. And despite the fact I had school, you know, I was yeah. still up until, like, 3 in the morning just eating <laughs> through a five-gallon bag of candy. And I was sick. Sick as a dog. <laughs> my, I think... <laughs> I think my favorite memory was like when I was a kid. I remember like going out and trick or treating, and getting a whole bunch of candy. Like just you know, cause you, it's crazy how much candy you, we used to accumulate in, in this small town of ours. Hmm. Like we, I remember just like they'd give out big fistfuls. I, yeah, I just Whole remember like bars. I remember just like sweeping the neighborhood, you know, yeah. and just getting just a, an amount of candy that just like no one should eat. Yeah. I remember and eating all of it. Massive, like, did you get one of these, like a really big, like lollipop? I think I, I didn't really like the. It was like the kind then. of lollipop you'd get in like a souvenir shop. We tr- we'd always trade. It'd be like when you and your friends or your family would get together and try to trade candy. I always like pawn off like the hard candies first. I like the hard candies. Be like, I'll give you this jawbreaker for your Snickers bar. Oh it's yeah, a, obviously a bad deal, but I sold it. I always hate when the families weren't home; they would just leave like a th- like a thing of candy outside. Yeah. It was never there. Every bowl, it was gone. Every bowl, yeah. Every kid just every the whole leave thing. a sign yeah. out that would be yeah. like, you know, be considerate. Yeah. Take, take take one. one yeah, or, take one. Yeah, I and never then saw there was that punk ass kid who just grabbed <laughs> yeah. a whole cauldron of candy and dumped it into his pillowcase and walked away. Yeah, I've never I've never gone to it when I was a kid. I don't remember going to a house and seeing a just take take one bowl and having it be full of candy it was always empty by the time i got to it i saw i saw it once 
I, I'm sorry. I had some candy out of it. And I was actually a good kid. I, I remember. I took, I took, but I cheated. I took two pieces. I remember being a kid and like going out and and getting a whole bunch of candy and coming home and going onto the, uh, uh, sitting down in the living room and like dumping my candy out on the living room floor. Do you guys remember that that old Disney movie, um, about like the kids who like find the mummy? Britton, can you search this for us? Will you look this up? Wait, hold on. I might remember it. Are you talking about like Halloween Town? No, Halloween Town, though. I remember watching Halloween Town. I, I remember just going to the Disney Channel and watching their lineup that they would do on Halloween, and they'd do Halloween Town, and then they do, uh, um, what was it called? Can Hocus of Worms? Pocus yeah. Pocus. Yeah. Hocus yeah. Pocus, yeah. Um, oh, I want to watch Halloween Town. That'd be a good one to watch. That year. that actually that probably has aged poorly. <laughs> it probably has, but it had a sequel, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, I think it had a couple. But I remember like sitting down and like watching ho- like all these like I remember the the Mummy movie was on. I cannot remember. I think it was called like My Mummy or Dylan. You're thinking of the movie Under Wraps. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Under it was a Disney Channel remember, movie. Yeah, I remember. The, I, once I I put in a, a Disney movie Mummies, and the first one I got was Under Wraps. <laughs> yep, that was and the was, one. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's, oh, God. I remember this movie. Yeah, I remember watching that movie, and it, it was like the first time I had ever seen it, and I was sitting like on the floor watching it. And you know, when you're a kid, like you just get so wrapped up in those like dumb children's. Horror films. Or, yeah, same are, with Christmas, but that's yeah, for another time. Yeah, we'll do that around <laughs> Christmas. I always oh. like the dumb Halloween ones more. Yeah. Though. yeah, yeah, yeah. Halloween definitely had a better atmosphere for me. That's a good segue into uh, some of our favorite films to watch around Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you go, you go first. I have so many. I don't know. I think the I think the just the the obvious one I really enjoy watching around Halloween is. Halloween, the movie Halloween. I've never watched them. You ever seen no. Halloween? I the, want to. Uh, the original or the, uh, the original the Rob Zombie remake? Yeah, both. Okay. Because I like the I Rob only, Zombie only remake. I like the original. I thought, <laughs> I thought the Rob Zombie remake was kind of bad. I thought it was bad in a fun way. That's that's fair enough. Rob Zombie's movies are kind of like that. They're all like really terrible, but yet they're kind of interesting. They fall. You, you always you always find yourself sitting there and watching the whole thing despite the fact that you're not liking it. I mean, I didn't think his, I didn't think Thirty One was that good. Yeah, Thirty One wasn't good. It was pretty hard to watch. Yeah, it was a good idea, but it was a bad movie. Yeah, I don't know. I like I like to watch Halloween, and I like to watch. Um, I like Creep Show. Creep Show is fun. Creep Show is fun. You know, I don't know. We watch a lot of horror films all the time. <laughs> Yeah, we but do. I mean, like, but like, there's certain ones around this time of year, like especially for me that I like to repeat and watch. Like, my favorite one to watch around this time of year is Return of the Living Dead. Yeah, that's like that's one of that's one of my favorite zombie movies, but that's also like my favorite like Halloween movie. It's it? it's very uh, it's very uh, it's hokey and fun, but at the same time, it, it, it is kind of scary because the zombies they just they can't be stopped. Shoot them all you want; they just keep running right at you. AJ, I know you're not big on horror films, but do you have anything you like? Any particular ones? I guess Friday the Thirteenth would be yeah fun to watch yeah, again. F- oh yeah, that's you a know, classic. Yeah, that's a yeah. good one. There, there's uh, nothing more fun than a, a bunch of teenagers getting their heads cut off. Horny you know? teenagers. Or Nightmare on Elm Street would oh, be a good man. one. Oh yeah. uh, Dream guys, Warriors. Dream, Dream Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, yeah. That was a great one. You third guys remember movie. in the third one whenever uh, Freddy? Um, the marionette the, doll with the kids oh, like yeah, veins. Yeah, the marionette doll. That, oh. I, but I was thinking of the girl who wanted to be a. She wants to be a TV star, right? Yeah. And she falls asleep <laughs> watching TV, and uh, she wakes up and f- like Freddy's the television, and he picks her up and he grabs her and he's like, "You're on prime it's time, like, bitch. bitch!" And then shoves her <laughs> head into his chest, and she just explodes. <laughs> I think. I think. I think Dream Warriors had all the most quotable. Um, yeah, parts in like the whole entire um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Series. Actually, that one's perfect for Halloween because they're all like in a way dressed up or something. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, it's like an idea. It, it was with... very dreamlike. It was kind. It was kind of a strange movie. Yeah, it really. I, I think that's actually my favorite Nightmare on it Elm Street. It definitely is mine. Next to the first one, the first yeah. one's obviously yeah. a classic. But I also liked the fourth one, which, if I recall, you guys didn't care for that much. But I thought the fourth one kind of followed the same vein of Dream Warriors. It was very colorful and, and dreamlike and very um, 
just over the top. Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on, there's, isn't there, there's awful, a scene in the fourth awful, one where yeah. she... No, uh, the fourth one was just terrible. No, the and fourth one... not even one, like an... Like, see, what was great about Dream Warriors was it was terrible, but it was like just terrible enough for it to be like still really enjoyable. Whereas in the fourth one, the, what, I, what I hated the most about the fourth one was they brought back two of my favorite characters right at the opening of the film. And you go, yeah, they're going to be it. I can't remember their names. Oh, yeah. The, it was the one, the one guy who was really strong. Yeah, the, the strong one. And then I think, I can't remember the other one's name. The other one was a, a, a mage or something. What something. Name? I can't oh, remember. Oh, the, the mage guy? Yeah. yeah. But you, did, did they we come ever back? see his magic powers? I don't know. I think in the third one he did something. Like, they die so though. Like, like they kill him. Like what yeah, the heat is? They brought him back in like the first. Like you see him in like the first fifteen minutes of the new first film, and you get really excited because you're like, yeah, this is great. Like this is the uh, you know these characters are back, and we get to see them again, and they're gonna fight Freddy, and it's gonna be great. And then they die. Like li- they have one scene with one bit of dialogue, and then literally the next time we see them, they're just dead. I like and I hated that. And so yeah, four four can go suck a dick for all I care for There's that. There's a scene in the fourth one that I like where. Uh, uh, she's uh, the main character. She is uh, asleep in a theater, and she wakes up in the movie that she is watching. And then she's inside a diner, and she finds some pizza and starts eating it. And she looks down on it, and it has meatballs on it. And the meatballs have her friend's face on them. Oh, I, yeah. And so she's like eating no, pizza. It was, pe- her it was pizza. The pepperoni f- face is pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! AJ, well, let's get off of movies. How about TV shows? Yeah, um, were TV shows? Those are kind of hard to come by to get like a good one. You know, yeah, what I mean, mean, there's a uh, Twilight Zone, more Twilight mystery. Zone. Than Ooh, that, yeah, that's, that's a good one. one. Twilight Zone's always fun. And then, I mean, yeah, Outer yeah, Goosebumps and uh, oh, of course, The Haunting uh, Hours. Uh, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid, afraid of the dark? dark. And are, and that's my me favorite. and a- me and AJ's. Favorite. We watched a lot of it over the summer. Um, the yeah. Haunting Hour. What the about Tales from, yeah. oh, T- Tales from the Crypt? Yeah. Oh, of course. I love Tales from the Crypt. Well, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of good like Halloween. Like, yeah. I don't I care watch for it, some, but there's a, the, the from the American Crypt. Horror Story. You know, there's that. American Horror Story is good depending on the season. They they like I thought the first season was pretty good. The second season was not as good as the first season, but still good. It got a little. It got a little busy at the end, though. I thought that's everyone's favorite. Is the second? The second? I don't know. I think third. I no one. Not a lot of people like. A lot of people I talked to really liked Coven. Really? I didn't like Coven though. And what was the fourth one? The, the um, is that the is that the uh, freak show? Freak show. And now yeah. what's this new one? A boat? The They're new on a one's cruise? No, the new no. one is like it has something to do with um, Roanoke, doesn't it? The missing yeah, colony. Yeah, I can't. Re- I don't know what this one's called. It's like American Horror Story Roanoke, I think. I heard one. It's about be Roanoke. on a cruise. You know what's crazy though is I don't know. Like, Maybe that's the next season. Well, okay. What I got really excited for the new season of American Horror Story because they did this really interesting thing where they usually when the new season of American Horror Story is coming out, they show like teasers like a couple weeks before its premiere or like a month or two before its premiere, and you just get like snippets of like what the mood of this the new season's gonna be. And so like usually like when it was Coven, they'd have like these little snippets of like witches walking through the woods. So it's like, oh, you, it's gonna be about witches. And you just kind of get like a little vague idea of what it's gonna be. This one, they did that with um, three different topics. They they were they they kept running like a bunch of different ads, so no one could really gauge what the new season's going to be about. And so it was really exciting because it was like this big mystery, and we weren't going to know what the new season was going to be until the day it premiered. And then come to find out, it was uh, going to be based off of the Roanoke, the whole thing. You, have you heard about that? Uh uh-uh. uh it was about that colony that um, one day just like up everyone left oh, and went missing. Okay. But what's what's crazy though I don't know what you're is about. I don't know why they went with Roanoke because I've not really heard anything about that whole that that subject being like creepy or scary. Like I've never heard like it's, it, it's pretty mysterious. Like I I think what but what happened though is they know what happened with the Roanoke colony. They left their their little where they colonized. Mm-hmm. They left and they they went with this tribe of Indians that was like in a nearby area, hmm. and so it was just like there's no mystery really. It was just like they kind of they know the answer, but it's always been one of these things where people are like, "What happened to the lost colony right. of Roanoke?" And everyone's like, "Oh well, I think they figured it out." And everyone's like, "No, it's a mystery." 
Did they? I never really understood out? that. Yeah, it was like they they um they found this um other colonization of like these uh, Native Americans in in oh, like a nearby okay. area, yeah. and some of the Native Americans were um, that were in the colony were like white. So they just everyone was like, oh, I think everyone in Roanoke just went and like joined this tribe of Native Americans. So it's not really that big of a mystery. I mean, I, I don't really have like I don't think they have a definitive answer. I mean, you could look it up if you want. I don't want to. Well, you brought your laptop over here to do research on stuff because we always get choked up. Yeah, and here I am getting stuff. choked up. I, I brought it over here to do research okay. on important stuff like Disney movies about mummies, not missing colonies of our American <laughs> anyway, heritage. So I don't know. I'm not. I haven't seen the new season of American Horror Story yet. I don't know. It, I don't know. It's a little hokey. I don't get it. I don't know why they went with Roanoke. That's kind of weird. Yeah. All right. Well, what about uh? Or do you have anything else TV show wise? Um. <laughs> I really, I love, I love going back to Tales from the Crypt. I love to watch Tales from the Crypt. Yeah. There's this YouTube channel that only um, is active around Halloween, and they post um, all the seasons and episodes of Tales from the Crypt. On That's YouTube. really cool. And yeah, a that really might be good a good thing to put in like a, a link in the description. Too. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll definitely put that YouTube channel on. Someone's pirating it. And it's kind of, I think it's a little illegal. Cause it's oh, like, is that what it is? It's not like an official no, thing? No, it's not an official thing. Yeah. I don't think it's an official thing at all. Well, we'll, we'll oh. just put it in the link. But it always, <laughs> I always, this YouTube I channel. I mean, if it gets taken down, they click <laughs> yeah. on the link and it doesn't go there, they'll know yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're going to figure out the three dudes plugged it into their little makeshift podcast. That's what shut them down. And then. What about music? Halloween. Or Halloween music? I have a Halloween playlist I visit every year. Really? Yeah. Spotify? Uh, I don't have I don't I don't subscribe to Spotify anymore, but um, I've got it like on YouTube. And oh yeah, what songs? Oh, you know I like the classics, man. Um, throw a little bit of Alice Cooper in there. Yeah. Some uh, Misfits. Got to have the Misfits. They're, you know, all their music is just something straight out of a, a horror yeah. theme. Something, you know, stuff like that. You know. The Monster Mash. Yeah, I was going to bring that classic. up. The Monster Mash. I hate, I hate that song. <laughs> but <laughs> you can't anything, have, yeah. you can't have a Halloween playlist without it being on there. Anything by Goblin. Oh yeah, Goblin. The guys that did the soundtrack for Suspiria. I listen to like a lot of like horror movie soundtracks. You know, like Halloween or, or Suspiria or um, uh, oh, what's another good one? Actually, uh, a video game, Bioshock. Bioshock would be good. I think Bioshock's got a very uh, a good soundtrack to listen like to that, around this time of year. That smirk that went across your fl- your face. <laughs> and she goes, Brittany goes, Bioshock. And she just perks up and is like, Bioshock, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a very creepy and unsettling uh, soundtrack yeah. that game has. Yeah. Yeah, especially uh, those, uh, they're splicers, the enemy. Yeah. And they'll just yeah. walk around and be like, Jesus loves me. You know, and they're yeah. just like hitting the wall and stuff. I haven't played a lot of Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock uh, gets very spooky at times. Yeah. It, it's a perfect mix of thriller and somewhat horror. Yeah. yeah. And even elements um, of mystery sometimes. Yeah. You remember that game we used to play? You find yourself thinking, what the hell happened here? Yeah. Remember that game we used to play all the time um, that was on uh, PS2? You, it was like uh, you had to use a camera. Fatal to Frame. Ghost. Oh, Fatal, Fatal Frame. frame. Yeah. That would be a good one to play for Halloween. Fatal Frame was fun. Yeah, Fatal Frame was a lot I, of fun. I think Freaky. the best Halloween themed game, though, to play on Halloween would be Costume Quest. Costume Quest. That's just because it's just, it's actually Halloween. I like, got, I've never I got, played the, Costume, I got Quest. Costume Quest 2 on uh, on my Xbox. That would uh, be a fun game to play. I've never it, played it, was the, Quest. it was the free game uh, uh, for gold members like a couple months back. I, I don't even know if I picked that up. I, I picked it I up for sure because I've played the first one and the first one's a lot of fun. Like it's very, you know, it's just very. It's RPG elements, right? Yeah, but it's it's very laid back. It's oh, just okay. fun. Like it's not like a like a serious game. It's not like hardcore, but it's something you could sit back on the couch and and just kind of play for a bit and uh, enjoy. It's it's a fun Halloween game. You know, it's not scary or spooky, but it's very charming. I guess you got your typicals: Resident Evil, Silent Hill, yeah. Fatal Frame, but yeah. Halloween themed games. All like, I can really think of right now would be costume quest. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I've never really heard of like a Halloween. Dylan, do you game. remember playing uh, Hugo's House of Horrors? I don't think so. 
Oh, uh, you don't remember this game? We the Binding to... of Isaac. Yeah, uh, oh, the Binding. That'd be a good. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Binding of Isaac. I'm good so burnt. All the time. Yeah, like, <laughs> so burnt out on that game. <laughs> like that's just a fun game to play, just in general. But there I mean, was it, it, it is very suited for this time of year. There was like just a solid like two month period where I was just sitting around watching Britain play the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> so yeah, I'm was... burnt. Yeah. Was, every I was time someone's like deep into the game for a bit. Every time someone's like the binding of Isaac, I'm like, get out of here with that shit. I don't want to hear. I guess it. Slenderman, but I'm just, yeah, uh, that's a yeah, it's like a yeah. You know, I like to read creepy pastas around Halloween time too, because there's some genuinely good creepy pastas out there. Yeah, some creepy pastas are just like you know, like campfire stories. Yeah. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, there are creepy pastas that I've read laying in bed alone in the dark that have really had me like given me like a troubled night of sleep and like horror movies i could watch horror films like i remember you and your kid you watch a scary movie you know maybe like a seriously scary movie and it, it's like you couldn't sleep at night like that you know we move on from that phase we we can watch all the horror films we want regardless of how gruesome they are and still sleep like babies but like creepy pastas still bring out like that like child like innocence to me that after i read them i just like I, it's really hard to sleep afterwards like they they just creep me out like they're there are some bone good chillers. ones, but I've, I've, there's a lot of like crap ones out there too. You know, like just a well, lot you of, have to, you have to like, you gotta, you, you gotta, gotta really, really look for the good ones. You gotta well, sift through it to find. There's some a good lot ones. of really good like um, lists like the out one there. About the, um, the, uh, the one about the goat the, man. Is that the one where the monster changes into people? Yeah, that's a good one. Anytime the monster's near, you can taste like copper in the air or something like that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That one was really like that's un it was really unsettling. They they have um, <clears throat> you can find like uh, people have started taking creepy pastas and made like short films out of them. You can find them on YouTube, and some of them are pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. Marble yeah. Hornets comes to mind with uh, it's like a the Slenderman origin story. Yeah, that's that's a fun one to check out. I never really got. I never really fully understood the whole Slenderman thing. Like I don't I don't know what it is. I know I've played the game and I've. I've seen the Marble Hornets, but I don't really know what this. What did I don't get? It. I don't get it. I didn't find Slender Man that scary. Like I think he's pretty freaky. No, I mean, but like I still the I just game, don't. Get, I don't like, know what he is. Um, I think the presence of like a tall, thin man with no face that's that's scary. But like the video game was just you walk around, collect pages, and every once in a while the he shows up and the game gets loud. It, it, I found it more frustrating than fun. Yeah, it sends you on like just kind of a. Goose. It's just a big fetch quest. Yeah, you just walk around and pick up pages. I didn't find it particularly interesting. Uh, More games to play on Halloween. I would say like Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Luigi's Mansion's that great. was a fun one. I love that game. And they released a sequel for the 3DS, which I really enjoyed. Are they going to do a third one? I have no idea. I don't. I, I don't even know if that game was successful. Really, that second one. I'm sure it know. sold well, but I don't know. I don't know. I thought it did well. Why would they release a sequel to that? That was a that was a big game. The first one? Yeah. It, it kinda a, was. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like it wasn't I remember a it was more like seller. later. I remember yeah. staying the night at your house one night and playing it with you. Yeah. We like stayed up all night and like did a run through of it. Well it's just it was cool we because kids. it was just like this big mansion. Yeah. You get a vacuum. Yeah, you, you suck, suck up, up ghost. ghost. <laughs> but all the ghosts had character. Yeah, you know, there's like a butler, and there's yeah. like a family, and then some rooms there is like a, a pianist or yeah. like a, a cook or like a, a fortune teller. It was like a family of ghosts, and the new one is just weird, like bizarre looking ghosts. It wasn't like character. There's was no character to them. There wasn't like a lot of thought put yeah. into it. Yeah, well, but it was like fun. Maybe they just kind of like half-assed it, and that's why it was on a handheld. Well, yeah, they were like, you know what? We have enough of it done to where it could be a, a decent handheld release. But I like when weird. games do updates well, for Halloween. Yeah, like uh, oh yeah, oh like Team Fortress. Don't don't they like give players Halloween themed things to wear? Yeah, and I stuff think like so. I, yeah. It's been a very long time since yeah. I played T, uh, TF2, but uh, yeah, they uh, Valve likes to do like special events yeah. around the season. They always you like know, when give they people do like stuff pumpkin like hats and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. And Animal Crossing, like. You collect candy and wear masks and get Halloween themed thing the furniture and yeah uh, always love that Postal Two I remember got a Halloween <laughs> I had a Halloween update where it was like um, 
every like at, at night time or something like skeletons with like uh like fiery heads would come out of the ground and start attacking you <laughs> so like if the game wasn't already hard enough with everyone tr- constantly trying to mess your day yeah. you also had to fight the undead at some point huh. i remember back in the old days before online gaming was the the huge thing well actually online gaming was has, it was kind of then too but i remember playing simpsons hit and run and uh, oh. it would follow your calendar on the yeah. PS2. And so, like, around Christmas, it would, like, there'd be, like, Christmas stuff. Or on Halloween, there'd be, like, Halloween stuff. And I See, remember, I like, like stuff like that. That was always fun. And I remember, like, going into, like, the uh, PlayStation 2 settings and, like, just moving the calendar yeah. up to, like, Halloween or Christmas yeah. and then, like, loading the game up to see. <laughs> that was always fun. I like, uh, like, levels, too. You can always go back to levels. Banjo-Kazooie has that Mad Monster Mansion. You know, it's very Halloween yeah. themed. You know, there's just games like that that have levels. They're always Halloween levels themed. Levels themed around that. Yeah. But uh, what else Halloween? I don't know. Um, I don't really dress up. <laughs> I, no, a lot of people our age still like dress yeah. up yeah, costumes. I I, I well, I mean, like I'm it's it's still kind of it's come back and become popular to dress yeah. up again. Cosplaying is is Cosp- it, yeah. it, it's pretty much made it acceptable to dress up in costume for almost any reason. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people like to uh, find a way to take something kind of like a costume idea, so maybe something obscure, and then make it sexy. Yeah, that's yeah. always. I yeah, saw one always like yeah, a that's a big. Yeah. I saw one the other day online. Someone posted, and they were dressed up as um, a sexy Edgar Allan Poe. So they were calling the costume was called Edgar Allan Ho. Oh man, and Classic. that that made me giggle. I was like, yeah. okay, but like I don't know. I think I don't. I I kind of hate the fact that like, you know, you go out to a bar on Halloween, or you go out maybe to someone's party or something and there's always someone who's a sexy something yeah but, and sexy i'm not just witch, talking to, i'm not sexy school teacher yeah and yeah. i'm not just there's talking, just no creativity in it i'm not just talking about women either like sexy men donald men trump, do it too yeah. donald like, trump yeah sexy, <laughs> sexy donald, donald trump. trump that'd be cool i'd, I'd like to I mean, see it probably that. exists but oh, like yeah. i like it's it not, when i guarantee there's a sexy like hillary clinton and donald trump costume. oh yeah i like it the, like i'm tired of like the sexy cat or the sexy mummy, the or the the typical what you normally see for a Halloween thing. I like it when someone takes something that wouldn't be sexy and then makes it sexy, like a sexy salt shaker. Like then at least it's like there's How some do you irony. Make a salt shaker sexy. I don't know. I don't know. That's just an idea. But you know, I think yeah. that's. I think if you're gonna if you're gonna try to play off the whole like I'm gonna wear a sexy Halloween costume, at least make it something that has some like you know something a little ironic, maybe yeah. something a little funny. You or know, like couples gonna, costumes. Like I saw one. It was yeah. like the guy is like the peanut butter sandwich, the or girls, the, jelly. the girls. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, if that ever showed up to my Halloween party, I'd be like, get the fuck out. <laughs> I saw. Just, I saw one once where so, uh, there was. <laughs> There was two people who went as plugs. One was the male plug, oh. and one was the female plug, and you and they could connect their costumes together in a sexual way. Yeah, in a yeah. sexual you way. You know what? One the male end you know what I don't like? Yeah. Front or back? Uh, it was in the front. Hmm. You know what? I should have had those double. <laughs> you think it should have been in the had back? those double side plugs. <laughs> AJ, <laughs> AJ just goes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, um, I can tell he wasn't. You know, he felt like it should have been done slightly different. You know what? You know what I don't like seeing is the sexy Mario and the sexy Luigi. Oh, man. Just stop. And they're not even Nintendo. They're just, like, really cheap looking. Yeah, like, like it's just, like, a It's just, hat. like, it, it doesn't even say, like, sexy Mario. It just says sexy plumber. Yeah, sexy plumber. Yeah, yeah. sexy red plumber. Yeah, sexy yeah. green yeah. plumber. And then it's, like, sexy plumber brother. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. Like, I'm tired of that, man. Like, the, green Mario. If you're going to dress up, yeah. dress up, you know, it's this isn't. You know, I we I don't have to say it because thousands of other people many other times have said it. You know that the whole like sexy costume thing is just kind of like it's been played out, and you're not gonna stop anybody from doing it. Nah, it's yeah. gonna it, you know we're gonna, gonna be our kids are gonna be bitching about it in the future, probably, or they're gonna or, be dressing up as sexy yeah. whatever is. Yeah, <laughs> I like when people our age or any age actually like really go out. 
I like cosplaying because people make it. Yeah, that's and cool. And so, same way with Halloween. I think it's really cool when you see someone who, like, went out they and, like, a little effort and created this know, really neat someone, outfit. Someone who actually costume. wanted to dress up and be something. Yeah. Like Brian's costume last night. Yeah. I thought that Brian. was cool. Yeah, I thought it was neat. What was Brian going as? Um, He went as, um, he was like a, like a, a dead mobster. Yeah, a, a dead lobster, like, a Mo- dead mobster, mobster. <laughs> but it was like oh. a, it was like a, a, it was like a 1920s mobster. Yeah, oh, had that's like cool. a had like skeleton a Zeus, looking face, a skeleton with face, and like a zoot suit. And it looked yeah. really cool. Dollar oh, sign, yeah, that uh, is cool. Yeah. And, yeah, it was really neat. Or he, he was saying he was dead. Um, Al, Al, uh, Al Capone, Al Capone, dead Al Capone. Ah. Surprised you struggled with that. And he had a, you have an Al Capone shirt. Yeah, <laughs> it just says Capone on it though. <laughs> Says Capone, which is Chicago, the, which is and the, underneath which it, is Capone. The important, that's the important part. He remembered the yeah. L, but he couldn't yeah. remember the Capone. <laughs> the but shirt. he knows that the shirt has Capone on it. <laughs> My boss gave me that shirt. I always thought it was a weird shirt. It just says Chicago Capone. Huh. That's it. Because the two go hand in hand. Yeah, I guess when you think Chicago, you think Al Capone. But Al Capone. I think of hot dogs. I guess. When you think of Chicago, <laughs> you think of hot dogs. I think of um, or Willis Tower. Yeah, aka Sears Tower forever will be in my heart. I always think of the movie uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Mm. I think of hot dogs too. I think yeah. I think of pizza. Pizza, yeah. When well, I think of New York, I think of hot dogs. I think any big city reminds uh, me. I of just hot think dogs. of hot dogs really anytime. <laughs> it's just the way. You know what? I think about hot dogs all the time. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I just. Wake Can up in the morning. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. That's what we should do for dinner tonight. Hot, hot dogs. dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs would be nice. I'm going to have salmon. Dead air. Anyway. <laughs> um, before we got on that topic. Yeah, no, going back to the costumes. I don't really dress up much. No, not really. I don't like it. I'm not a dresser-upper anymore. When I was a kid, I did it because, like, you, you know, your parents kind of made you do it a little bit. Yeah. I, I didn't really care for it much as a kid, but I did it. Because I mean I you know I don't know but nowadays I don't up. yeah oh, I love or like Halloween festivities like haunted houses yeah. bobbing for apples I never really did much of that either I never bobbed for apples either because yeah. I'm you gotta stick your head in the water yeah you gotta submerge your head in water Just smack and I whenever I whenever I'm playing a game like I'm in it to win it so my head's not coming up out of that water until I get an apple but at the same or time drown. at the same time <laughs> I'm not very good at games yeah. so. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, um, our stepdad Rick, uh, his boss when he worked, um, when he worked here at the shop here in town, and um, who was the guy who used to own the shop? Do you remember his name, Britton? Scott. Dallas. Scott. That's it. So I remember, like, I think it was Scott used to, he used to always put on a big Halloween party at the old gym. And it would be like inside the old gym. And Rick one day was like, he was like, hey, you want to come help out, like run games and stuff at the at the Halloween party? And I'd be like, yeah, sure. And I remember every time around Halloween, it was always like the you know like the week before Halloween or like the couple days before Halloween. I remember like I used to go up to the old gym with Rick and help out with like the company Halloween party thing and having a blast doing it. Having a blast. Yeah, I vaguely remember doing that. I was whenever I was working for the auto shop there. I missed that. AJ? Mm. Halloween parties, how do you feel about them? I, like, never go to them. What's your school? Like, Halloween parties, how do you feel about them? Like, zero to ten? Oh. I I just have, like, no interest in them, but I can kind of understand them, so I'm, like, medium. We went to a Halloween party last night. Yeah, yeah, but it was like it was at the. That was just a legion. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that, was, that was still Halloween. It, 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 it yeah, was yeah, that's true. It was the legion with a with. Some I'm thinking more like house parties and stuff, like uh, Halloween house oh. parties. I just never was into it. Yeah, I'm not. I either. like it. I, I like. I just want to do a maze though. I like any party that's got a theme to it. That means you're trying to do you're trying to do something different at least. You know. Yeah. Did you ever work the uh, haunted house that the school used to put on? No, I think that ended by the time we. No, I, I my senior year, me, Dan, and Cody. Um, oh, all but that up. was at our local state park. Yeah, I thought you meant. Remember, but it, it was used the to science be, club. Yeah, used it used to, to be at the school. It used to be at the school. Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be like a big thing here in town. They, like every yeah. Halloween, our school would put on like a big uh, yeah Halloween festival. The, the last one that they put on is the one where me and Jordan got grounded for like a week. 
Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. Yeah. Do you ever hear that story, AJ? Uh-uh. I'll tell you the story because it's a Halloween story, and we're talking about Halloween. So, <laughs> so uh, when when the school, we were in the fifth grade, and I think this was I think this was the last year that the school did a haunted house that was in the school before they started doing it at the state park. So we were in the fifth grade, and remember, each class put on their own, like, booth or game or whatever, uh-huh. and ours was bingo. I was thinking of bingo earlier for festivities and Halloween. I was like, no, that, that ain't a Halloween theme. But anyway. Not really, but <laughs> but I remember we did bingo, and we were doing the bingo booth, and um, I remember asking my mom if me and Jordan could go help out do the bingo thing, and she was like, yes, you can do the bingo thing. She was like, but be home by, like, 7, you know, and she was very strict about that. 7 o'clock, be home. So me and Jordan are like, yeah, whatever, okay. So we go, and we do the bingo thing at school, and then um, our friend Dan um, comes up to us, and is like, hey, like, after we're done doing bingo, you guys want to go through the haunted house? And me and Jordan are like, uh, yeah, we really do. Like, but we're supposed to be home at 7, and we don't have any money. And I don't know. And he was like, hey, guys, I'll cover you. Like, I'll cover if you want to come through. And we were like, all right, well, let's call our parents up and see if we can get permission, you know. And this is the fifth grade, for Christ's sake. So I remember we called up uh, the house phone, and Brittany answers it. And we're like, hey, is mom and Rick there? Like, we want to see if we can go through the house real quick, tell them we might be a little bit behind, if, see if that's all right. And Britton's like, well, they went into uh, Carmi to pick up uh, Taylor and Tyler. For anyone listening to this, this is all small town region stuff. They had left town to go pick up our stepbrother and stepsister, who's going to be staying with us for the weekend. Anyway. So he's like, they're not home right now. They they just left the house. They're going to be home in like 30 minutes, though. And we thought, okay, okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll work. we're on our way home. We'll be home. And we're like, all right. So we hang up the phone. And we're like, all right, we're going to go through the haunted house because by the time we get home, they're not going to know if we got home at 7 or not. Well, I guess, like, we misunderstood something. And I guess, like, they had were our times were off. They had gotten home by the time we were done getting through the haunted house, which was terrible, by the way. I remember like walking. I remember being a little freaked out about going through the haunted house, but then realizing that a bunch of high schoolers were putting it on, and then being like, "Okay, I'm no longer afraid." Dude, those haunted houses were cheesy. Do you ever go through? Oh yeah, they were really bad. I've never actually been to a haunted house. I've been to those, but I don't count those as like. Yeah, they don't really count. I want to actually go to some of these uh, like cities put on. Yeah. You know, they're on the radio talking about it. Yeah. People go. I have never been to one. Have you? Uh, no. Have you ever been to like a like a no, Arlo not like an official one. haunted house? Yeah. Not, a, not an official one. Um, I went to um, over in Evansville. You know, they have like the asylum. Right, the asylum. I always hear that on the radio. Yeah, and I went and did that one one year, and I mean it was cool, but I didn't particularly care for it because I mean it was just a lot of strangers grabbing you. Like that's what it seemed. Oh, they like could to grab me. you. Um. I got grabbed. I don't know. I don't, I don't do know. I, I don't know it anymore. Like I, I don't think I they could do it anymore. But at well, at, at, this, at this time, I think they could. Actually, I got they grabbed. can. Because I was talking to Caitlin the other night, and she was saying um, she was saying we should go up to the haunted houses that they put on Indy. And apparently, uh, in Indianapolis, they do like this big haunted house that is like four haunted houses in one, and each one's a different theme. And one of them is like. Um, a mystery one where you have to find your way out of it. That is cool. And the, apparently, in the, in the on the website, it says, um, you know, be ready to be separated from your group anytime. So I guess like they snatch people up and take them. That is neat. Yeah. So I think they. St- I don't know. I know that there's just like certain ones that they can't. Yeah. But then there's some that will warn you at the beginning, like you will be like you might get touched, or touched yeah. and they like warn you about that. I remember going back to. I like when people put their own, like, little, maybe, like, their, their haunted houses, yeah. you know, like, during Halloween, and, like, you, they usually have, like, oh, a yeah. really, like, big house, nice yeah. house, and they would decorate their house, and, like, you go yeah. and get trick-or-treat, you know. And Luke's like, parents used to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, friend Luke. <laughs> what? I was saying our friend Luke's yeah. parents used to do that. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. kind of goes w- back to uh, the horror movies earlier, but uh, there's a horror film that's on Netflix. It's not, it's not great, but it's it's a fun watch. It's called uh, The Houses That October Built, 
and it's like a horror film about uh, uh, this group of kids who are going around and, and they're traveling across the state to see different horror houses. And that that's like the focus of the movie. The movie loses focus of that. Is it I think a documentary? It, it's 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 uh it, like a found footage documentary film. Like I think it's one of those where if they actually just made a documentary about what goes on into making a haunted house, like that would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been really all, interesting. It, it's all fictionalized. It's oh, all, okay. You know, it's like they start uh, they find some sort of like hidden society of like uh, clowns or something. Yeah. I can't remember. It just gets crazy. <laughs> but they're they're being followed by somebody, and then it gets super natural at some point i mean it was i don't know it's it's a cool it's a time killer like it's very short but it's worth checking out and i thought it was relevant to this topic. yeah definitely what i was saying before though was i remember at, at our high school's um haunted house one year they brought in a chainsaw and took the chain off of it and yeah. i thought that was freaky because like yeah. chainsaws they are loud yeah chainsaws yeah. are loud and we had tiny classrooms so i remember just like someone firing that thing up yeah. and that thing was like loud yeah. and that kind of freaked me out <laughs> the first but the we got time. oh sorry but we i remember we went to the haunted house back to let me finish off my story from like 10 minutes ago we went to the haunted house, went through it, sucked, and then we came home, and our parents had beaten us home, so they grounded us for, like, a week. That sucked. Cool story. It was Halloween weekend. Worst Halloween ever. Everyone, okay, we've talked about our best Halloween. Everyone talk about their worst Halloween. That one was mine. I don't know if I had, like, a bad Halloween. I had, like, a Halloween that didn't meet my expectations, and it was, like, my last Halloween. And it was because I was like, uh, I was just, it was like, I was 16 years like old. Like a disappointment kind of thing. Well, yeah, but it was like one of those where I was too old to be trick or treating. Right. That was my worst. Like, me and my, like, <laughs> yeah, here, here's the year you're is, too old. We, we yeah, already, the year me and where my friends, you know, like, okay, I like, can't do this it's anymore. Not acceptable. I've well, already been it's, pushing it's, it. It's more than that. It was, I had already quit doing trick or treating because I was already too old, but my friends were talking about it and they were just like, you can't be too old yeah. to stop. I mean, like, we haven't gone trick or treating in a couple years now, you know? Like, <laughs> well, who says we should stop, you know? Like, we should go do it. And I'm like, I don't know. I think that's, like, only for kids, you know? I was like 16 at the uh -huh. time. So they were just like, this year we're going to dress up and do Halloween again. And I was kind of excited about it. I was just like, yeah, screw it. You know, this should be fun. And it, it wasn't. But um, my friend, went, I, if I remember correctly, uh, James, he went as a uh, vampire gynecologist. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> creative. I thought that yeah, was great. Was and then I went as just like, you know, some generic uh, zombie slayer uh, had like a... I just uh, watched Shaun of the Dead. So I had like a... a I didn't have a cricket bat, but I had a baseball bat and covered it in blood and was wearing a white office shirt that I had splattered with blood. That's cool. I, I was, was never in Halloween. I mean, it, was, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a pretty, it sounds yeah. like a pretty good Halloween. I'm not done with the story. I mean, like it wasn't that it was bad because like, um, you know, anything went wrong. It just, it was a boring night. Like it was one of the, like the town was kind of starting to become like less fun. A lot of people had moved out. There wasn't a lot of houses. Plus every house we showed up to, we had to listen to the, don't you guys think you're a little too old to be trick or treating? And we were like, yeah, Fuck so you. just give us candy and we'll leave. That's what I said. <laughs> you know, we're like a, bu a bunch yeah. of punk ass teenagers and we're like, whatever, give us candy. <laughs> There's not an official our, age uh, restriction our, our on trick or treating. He wouldn't give us candy. He was like, you guys are too old. I'm not giving you candy. <laughs> and we were just like, shut up, Mills. Put candy in the bag. Is there an official age restriction for trick or treating? I'm pretty though? sure there is. I think is it's like there? 13 or something. Yeah. Really? That's about the time. Well, I mean, I like the last some time, free candy. The last time and I if, went trick or treating before that was I was like 12. If people are willingly handing it out, like who says we can't? You know, like why can't we come go claim some of it? I, I don't know. We can buy, <laughs> we can buy it now. Yeah, you can that's, just buy it. Yeah, but it's we, expensive. We can, if it's no, if it's people not. are handing it out for free, like who's to say? We can go. We can go. That's like, why. If I ever have now. kids, if I ever have children, I'm definitely taking them trick or treating. I'm definitely taking yeah, my oh, own bag. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, I'm gonna tell him. Yeah, the other kid's at home sick, so trick or treat for him. And then yeah. I'm gonna go home and eat it myself. <laughs> no, this is. And a, when this my is... kid goes to sleep, I'm gonna eat his candy. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. 
This is a great time, though, to, like, when you're an adult, you can now, like, you can go buy those big bags of candy, like, those those family. Yeah. Like, you can for buy you. a bunch of those, and everyone's just like, oh, he's just oh, buying Halloween for, candy. For trick-or-treaters. For trick-or-treaters. And then you come home and just eat it all. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you cut out the middleman. You didn't have to walk around town to get yeah. it. You got it's an shame. out. It's like, guilt any other and time you go and buy that amount of candy, everyone's just like, That's geez, what great. a fat ass. But this, <laughs> this is the time of year where you can just go buy an obscene amount of candy, and everyone's going to be like, oh. Oh, he's going to be like the cool guy in the neighborhood giving yeah. it out. He's going to be giving out like whole bags to kids. He's going to be giving out. The, oh, he got the full size yeah, Snicker bars. Yeah, he's got the full sized ones. What a cool neighbor. That's, that's the guy. you're just like, yeah, I'm really treating the kids this year. And then you just go home and lock the door and eat a whole the lights eat a whole box you know of sucks? Snicker bars and cry. In the, in the whole two years I've lived in this apartment, I didn't get one single trick or treater. And, I, and it's because no one knows how to find the front door. Yeah. Blessing well, and a curse. Up, On top of that, those steps for, for the long time yeah. were scary. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I thought about Halloween themed that, that, so. Me and yeah, Rick. Those, those steps between, were like a haunted house in themselves. When, when Rick was living next door, me and Rick wanted to um, do a um, haunted house under the carport. Yeah, and I thought that was smart. Oh, that was a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like, have it, it never sign, happened, like, come around to the haunted house. Like, we were going to hang sheets up and stuff. Oh, yeah, that would have been cool. Me and, we really wanted to do it, but then um, we just never did. Yeah. Yeah. It's sometimes it's funner to talk about doing yeah. something than it is to do. Man, yeah. it's just like, oh, I want to put on a haunted house, and then you talk about all the things you would do, but yeah. then you start thinking of the effort it takes to put yeah. into it, and then you're just like, <laughs> eh, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun though. But I guess we're gonna have to finish this one up. So yeah, we'll what about what is like the scariest Halloween themed character? You know, like you know, you got skeletons, mummies. What what would you say is probably your Favorite or like scariest? Are we talking like horror icons? Are we talking about no. things like Frankenstein, yeah, and Dracula? Yeah, just like uh, Halloween. I, I don't know. I Halloween themed hmm. monsters and you know, like or, like our favorite like monster. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I know it's a generic answer, and it's I mean, it's become such a popular thing. But I mean, even as a kid, I loved I loved zombies. I loved yeah. the idea. Like to me, that was a horrific concept. You know, having a loved one die and then come back to life and attack you. Like, yeah, it's a pretty terrifying situation. And then not only that, it's it's everyone you know and love, and the world is full of them. Yeah. You know, it, it's this out. It's it's this. Um, the scare is being outnumbered, you know, it's like for, you know, it's you and a couple other people versus an entire planet of the dead, you know, that's kind of a, that's a scary concept. Yeah. And there's so many different kinds of zombies that you Oh, can, yeah, yeah, definitely. And, you know. um, they're fun to shoot. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they they're not humans anymore, no, so also, it's okay to just slaughter also, them by the dozens. <laughs> also, you just take them all out in abundance at one time. You just, like, spray them all down. Yeah. That, that's that's always been my favorite thing to do. Zombie games, you just like spray. Psh, get them. Yeah, Dead yeah, Rising's but, really good with that because yeah. you can just like oh, man. mow just, like, them down. Mow them down. The only Dead Rising game I played was the first one, and this was probably around the time it came out, so it's been a while. But my favorite thing to do in Dead Rising was to uh, grab umbrellas out of the oh, tables yeah. and run into crowds of zombies because it just bounces them mm-hmm. all away from you. Like that was, I like I thought that was the best way to cut through an entire yeah. crowd of zombies in that game was just to um, run at them with a table umbrella. I think my favorite like thing, mostly um, like monster, would be um, Dracula. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's actually the a good Bela one. Lugosi Dracula. Because there was something, you know, people say that, like, the old movies aren't scary. You know, like, they're not freaky or anything. But there was something about, like, with the lighting and just, like, how old, like, the film is that they made it. Like, there's something just, like, really eerie about it. Like, yeah. th- there's just, it's freaky. That and Nosferatu. Those two films are freaky. They're pretty freaky. I mean, they're not actually freaky, but. I don't find vampires all that scary. Dracula was scary though because he was entrancing. He wasn't just like a I'm gonna suck your blood, eh? You know, he's not like a vampire where it's just like his whole motive is to suck your blood. His motive was like to like get inside your head and like do psychological things to you. And he was entrancing and he would hypnotize you and just it was fr- he was freaky. He was just like a mysterious freaky thing. 
And he sucked your blood. That's free. Yeah. That sucks. You know. I, I would say my no would be witches. I just like witches. witches yeah. yeah. Yeah, witches are pretty creepy. Yeah. Are we? Are you talking like? I I guess all kinds. Yeah. Like historically wise and just like cartoon wise, both. You know, you get the green face. Yeah. With the, the big nose with the nose wart on and the it. The wart with the cauldron. And yeah. then you got like the actual like. The freaky ones. The freaky ones. Like, yeah. in, I, like in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, the yeah. Witch Out in the Woods, that one. Or yeah. just recently, that movie we watched, The Witch. The Witch. I think that was more. I don't know if there was an actual witch in there. I think it was yeah. the devil. Well, I mean, the 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 devil played a part, but it was a, there was a coven of witches, but there was one witch in particular who lived down on the woods by the family. That movie wasn't scary as much as it was unsettling. Which, if you yeah, ask me, I think unsettling. I, I think unsettling is worse than like scary. Like, I want something un, like mm-hmm. unsettling, like haunts you. Yeah, and it like it, yeah. it just it creeps you out and stuff. And scary is like you know the whole blah, you know, jump in so your face. Those are your favorites, though, zombies. And uh, then Dracula, Dracula and the witches. What's the what's like you're just horrified of if they existed? Horrified what? if they existed? Yeah. Probably. I mean, well, I mean, all of these things. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be terrible. <laughs> I don't want to live like, in a world with any of these. Uh, if, any, if, 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 if any witches, of these I don't know. They, you, you get people out there who say like they're witches. They practice. Wicked. Oh yeah. Like, I'm a witch, but I. Uh, but they're not. We won't talk about this topic, but ghosts. I I'm, yeah. I just kind of like to run into. I could yeah, talk for go, days if, if about ghosts them. were real. Should I tell? I, 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 I think tell that a, would be uh, a terrifying. We, let's tell, like possession. Hey, in let's general tell a ghost terrifying. story. You want to tell a ghost story? All right. We'll, we'll I mean, do, I have a good we'll do one. one. Ghost story. I have a good one. Okay. I mean, if you guys have a good I one, I don't have it. Yeah, I don't. Really. I mean, I would have to think about it for a while. Yeah, okay, so listeners. You go ahead, Dylan. Okay, listeners. If you're listening to this now, turn off your lights. Get nice and comfortable. It ain't that scary. Crack yourself <laughs> open a nice ice cold ski to calm your nerves because this story is going to spook you. It was about three years ago in the uh, middle of summer. It was, uh, I was off the next night, the next day from work, so I was up late watching some Netflix. All of a sudden, my phone rings. And who is it? It's AJ. Pick up the phone. Yeah. Oh, the, shit, why if is you're he not, calling? <laughs> you feel that, listener? Do you know what that is? Creeping up your spine. Those are goosebumps. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, so AJ calls me, and um, I pick up the phone. It's like, I don't know, it was like 2, 2.30 in the morning. Would you say, AJ? Yeah, probably about that. So AJ calls me, and he's like, hey, you know, what's up, man? Um you know, I'm bored. I can't sleep. I'm just sitting at home, you know, playing games. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just sitting at home watching Netflix. I can't sleep either, you know. And he's like, you want to go for a golf cart ride? Because we, the town we live in is a golf cart community, and golf carts are street legal. It's the one good thing I can say about it. <laughs> so I just like, hey, uh, you know, I'll get my golf cart. I'll come by, pick you up, and we'll take a little golf cart ride. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So get off the phone with him, and I run out. Run, you know, put on some pants, and uh, I had a really bad habit of uh, not putting my shoes on until I walked outside. And so I remember it was kind of a cold night. It was a little bit of a cool night. It wasn't hot. It felt nice. It was a really nice night. It was like 2 in the morning, so, you know, obviously temperatures were, like, probably at the lowest they were going to be. And this was, like, in the middle of summer. This was, like, in a jul- like July. It was, like, May, July, somewhere around there. And um, I remember I walk outside, and I step out onto my front porch, and I'm putting on my shoes. And um, I'm leaning down, and I'm tying my shoes, and I hear what sounds to be like footsteps coming up to the alley next to our house. And I mean, I could hear it, you know, like I could hear the sound of like some flatbed shoes scuffing up against the pavement. And so I'm like, okay. I'm like, someone's walking down the alley right now. This, it, the alley is dark, too. This is a dark night. I remember it was a little overcasty, I think. Yeah, like no lights. Yeah, like, like the yeah. only thing lighting up the streets were the street lamps. And the street lamps in this town suck, and there's not a lot of them. So it was really dark. And I remember thinking, like, okay, so maybe it's not so weird because I'm awake. Like, I'm up at 2.30 in the morning. I'm like, AJ's up at 2.30 in the morning. We're getting ready to go for a golf cart, right? Like, why wouldn't someone be out on a walk right now? Like, screw it. And I remember... Tying my shoes and seeing a, a, a silhouette, like a, the, the, in the peripheral of my eyes, seeing somebody walking in, in my peripheral vision. 
and it was a it was a full bodied person. I remember it kind of looked like a bit of a heavy set woman. She was wearing something like a nightgown, like a white nightgown, or it could have been like a white dress or something. And I could hear her and I could see her, and she wasn't that far from me. She was only like she was only like you know a handful of feet away from me. And I see her in my peripheral vision as I'm tying my shoes. And as I lean up from tying my shoes, I hear her, I hear her like make like she released like a gasp or like a yelp almost. She was like, oh, like I had scared her. And I remember being like, oh, you know, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you because maybe I thought like she hadn't seen me because I was crouched down. And then when I popped up, like I freaked her out or something. And as I turned to look at her and be like, sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. She was completely gone. She had, like disappeared right before my eyes. And this is like I went from seeing her to like literally like three seconds later, she was gone. And I walked around the area that I had last seen her to see if like maybe she had like taken off running or like if she had like ducked for cover and was like hiding from me or something. And like I didn't think I had scared her that bad because you know, I was like in my pajamas, you know, like I wasn't really anything threatening. To, I mean, this is New Harmony too, you know, like what's, what's gonna jump out and scare you at 2.30 in the morning here, like nothing. So, but she was gone. And I couldn't, I, I didn't see her. And I remember walking down the alley a little bit where she was coming from, and this, like, really cold breeze, like, this notice, like, it was a cool night, but a really noticeably cold breeze come brisking through and, like, just blew right past me. And it was kind of like a, a strong wind, which was kind of weird because it was still, like, it was, like, I mean, I don't even remember hearing crickets. It was, like, a still cool quiet night and this like gust of wind blew through the alley and i remember just like freaking out and i remember i called i was waiting for you to come by with a golf cart and you were taking your sweet time as you always do and i remember i tried calling you and you didn't pick up and then i called my i called steven who was featured on uh the second episode he's the one who informed us about the pizzazz pizza cooker if you guys remember that and um I call up Steven, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, you're not going to believe this. Like, I was, I was freaking out. I was like, I just saw a woman disappear. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, I just saw a woman disappear. Like, I don't know what I just saw, like, but there was this woman right in front of me one minute. And then when I got up, when I, when I kind of turned to get a better look at her, she just, like, vanished. And he was like, where, where at? Where was this at? And I was like, oh, it was in the alley next to my house. And I explained, he was like, what did she look like? And I explained it was like a heavy set woman and kind of like a nightgown or like a, a, a dress, some kind of a thin dress. And, and um, he was like, oh, he was like, that was probably just like um, Kevin's mom. She lives at the end of the alley. Like, Cindy, right? Um, Candy? I think her name was Candy. Candy, I think that was. Her I didn't really candy. know her. Yeah, movie. it was Candy. He was like, anyway, that was just Kevin's mom, man. Like, she was probably just out on a night walk, man, maybe something. And I'm like, maybe. I'm like, but I, I don't know where she could have gone. Like, you know, she disappeared. Like, she was gone. You know, like she and I, I, you know, there was a period of time where it's like, if she was to go anywhere, we were in an open street. If she was to go anywhere, I would have at least seen her going, whatever direction it was. But you know, there was just no one around, no one in sight. And then I, it occurred to me that she had passed away like a couple of years earlier, that they that she had, you know, they pa she had passed away, and then dun, dun, dun. I had like a moment where I was like, oh my god! Yeah. I'm not saying I believe in ghosts. I'm not saying that like ghosts are real. That's the only real like experience I've had that is kind of weird and I can't explain. Yeah. I've told that story a thousand times. When you told me when I got in the golf cart, where when you, I, I mean, I even was just like, oh my goodness, like. I mean, I can't. That probably was. I'm like, not. I mean, yeah. I when I tell that story, I'm not lying. Like that happened. Yeah. And I'm not. I don't. I'm. I'm not the type of guy to fabricate a story to make it seem cool. Right. Yeah. Because like you know, not a lot of cool stuff happens to me. <laughs> you know, and I just don't like. I don't like lying to make myself seem cooler. But like this one instant I had was something I can honestly say happened and that I can't explain. Right. And it's just, I think about it sometimes often, you know. Oh, I would too, something like that. You know, yeah. but I, like I said, I don't know if I'm saying I believe in ghosts. I'm not saying what I think I saw I might have seen. Um, But that's the only weird experience. Well, I'm happy no, nothing like that's ever happened. I mean, I was freaked out at the time. I remember being really freaked out. I remember being like actually really freaked out because it seemed like she had disappeared. It was almost felt as if like I had watched her disappear because it was like literally just like whoosh, and one yeah. swoop of my head she was gone. And it was weird because you have a moment where you're standing there and you don't really know what the hell you just saw or what the hell just happened and you just kind of stand there and you're calm. 
and you just kind of look around, and then all of a sudden, like, the reality of what just happened yeah. starts to set in, and then you just yeah, go and you go time. from, like, zero to 100. You're like, oh, that was, what? What was that? You know, like, everything <laughs> slowly starts to dawn on you. Yeah, I, it was freaky. I remember being freaked out, but I'm not, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Yeah. To quote uh, Ray Parker Jr., I, I ain't afraid, afraid of no, no ghost. ghost. And I guess we'll end on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, thank you guys for listening, uh, for tuning in for episode four. Hopefully we'll have it. Sorry a- you had to listen. Yeah, sorry <laughs> about that. Sorry, guys. Hey, but at least we stuck, we, we said we picked a topic. And we stuck to it, stuck and to we it. didn't ramble on about ski or soda <laughs> yeah, or did, anything else. We really didn't shake away from. I mean, like we rambled on about this one topic, but I mean, like, I mean, yeah, that's we, kind re- of the, we, we really did not. I think that's too kind far. of the point of the podcast. Is we just kind of ramble. Yeah, yeah. This, random this, talk this, of the I mean, night. I think this is the kind of, random. Yeah, the random, the random talk, talk of the night. Our, I mean, it's just like what we'd be talking about in general. But now with in our hands. T N. Huh. Well, yeah, thanks, you guys, for listening, if you're listening. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time for episode five when we talk about Man, something. something. Ski soda. It, it, won't, it, won't, it, won't, it won't be announced until the start of the next podcast. Hope everyone has a great Halloween. Yes, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween, everybody.